Hi guys, this is Shivam and you are watching Creative J. And in this video, what we are going to create, we are just going to create this uh, web page in HTML and CSS and no JavaScript. And why I have made this? I have just made this so that I can redirect particular users to somewhere else. Like if we, someone from Instagram comes to this website, like I will name this website as go.creativeshe.com and then he or she will like will be redirected to GitHub or wherever I will want. And that will be in the second part. How do we configure it? But in this part, we are just going to create this HTML CSS. And so let me keep it aside. And for the code editor, as you all know, I am using vs code or visual studio code so let's get started and i have this extension installed called called where is it where is it uh, let me disable vim here is this live server i just have this you can just search and get that extension yeah this is this one we will use this so let's open a folder here let's create a new folder all right now create a index.html and now again add a semicolon and no it's exclamation marks guys and hit tab and there we go and if you will hit tab again and again then the cursor will come here you can type you are being redirected github for now uh, we will make this dynamic so don't worry and first we have this uh, header in the main content we have so let's make it a header header and we will just type it seems you are coming from Instagram and for now let's make it put it in a span because this is going to be dynamic all right guys and you what you can do you can just right click and open it with the live server all right there we go let me zoom in here a bit and what else we had i will just show you like now we have the logo so we will just create a section here uh, add a section and in the section we will have the logo of whatever so add a image and in source i will just drag and drop my image folder i will put the link of the folder in description so don't worry about it it's called social icon and copy to folder all right now we will go here and social icons we will use instagram.svg and in alt we can add instagram all right perfect and now after that what we have we have a header again so redirecting you to github all right so what do we let's make it h2 redirecting you to we will make it a link so a hash ref like for now you can just type hash and here we will put <coughs> github or this will be dynamic guys so don't worry here we go and again in the bottom we will have this timer so let's make a paragraph and add you can also use the time element i guess time element in five uh, seconds again in the end we have this cancel button image and let me bring that cancel button where is that guy hello mr button all right there we go just name it cancel i have downloaded this from font awesome you can also but still the project link will be in the github so don't worry and dot cancel dot svg all right there we go it's quite big and we can also add a class of button and what else we have we have go somewhere else page and it's in the footer section so let's create footer uh, footer we have go somewhere else and in footer just add a header 
uh, go some somewhere else and now what we will do we will create a section again uh, we will give the class name class or uh, let's call it list and here we will create how many divs we have we have three divs so you can do box dot box and we will multiply it with three so we will have three so first is my portfolio website and second we have second we have creative j and there is a space youtube and here what we have here we have another youtube idea i am in the shortcut all right and as here you can see we have all this so let's start styling and it's gonna be pretty simple so just create here a link of css and hit command click or control click and create a new file and again first what we are going to do first we are going to reset the body so body margin zero pad padding zero boom and let's first style our header no first add a font so font family uh, here where 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 is that we will just use the apple system this kind of font so that it gets the system font all right now we need to make everything in center guys so first what we can do is we can just make the body to display as a flex body display flex all right and again this is going like here so we can change the direction flex direction to column all right and align items center so there we go now we need to fix these these okay so first we will have to resize our instagram logo so what is this it is in section and here also we have a br means a break and give this section a name of let's call it main and in the main we have this logo which we need to resize main and main image so height should be like let's give 50 pixel that's too small 100 should work all right and now what we need and also let's add a text align of center all right now here we have everything in center and again in the main container let's specify some height and width in the main we have this cancel button also so let's give it a class of cancel and we will style it uh, main dot dot cancel and give it a height of 30 pixel all right it looks cool 30 is too small 50 should work yep 50 is fine and again what we need to do here all right we are almost done guys so now we need to make the cards and here we need a little spacing so what we can do okay guys we need to add this in justify content so justify content space between or space evenly that should do the job yep pretty much let's give this image a class of logo all right and here instead of image we will do logo and also add a margin of 50 pixel all right there we go and we also have a cancel add button let's add a class of button here and put this image in uh -huh, inside and add a paragraph of cancel seems nice now in button class dot button we need to like remove the margin from the p tag so do margin zero all right works pretty well 
and I think we should put this in main content guys this works now let's work on our boxes so here we will have our boxes in the CSS let's go to class of box what should be the size 140 height 140 pixel uh, and same as width 140 pixel and we need a background of white background hash fff and box shadow is black hash 0 0 0 and 0 3 and 14 0 pixel 3 pixel and 14 pixel which is blur so this is what we got here and what we need again um, a border radius so border radius we will give so it will add a curve to our boxes of 4 pixel looks nice alright guys this is opacity is 16 percent so add 16 alright now it looks nice and again what we have the section of let's name it others uh, in others what we will do again we will make it a flex box display flex justify content space around all right there we have it and again here also we will need to center it so you can just do display flex inside this box also and not a space around center and align items also center there we have it let's increase the font size of box what we had here is like okay uh, font size uh, 1.1 em it will be increased like 110 percent i guess now it's fine but this goes somewhere else needs a little space so why not to oh uh -huh. why not to give it uh, in the footer and in header footers header uh, we are using footers header so footer and header margin of 10 pixel should be fine no 50 all right 50 works fine and font size let's make it 1.5 em there we go and here we have it and in the top also guys we have something like if you will see here and we have this header quite small so let's make it big so copy what the hell copy this and add a font font size of 1.5 m and there we go and let's make that boxes like border radius a little bit of more 8 pixel now that looks pretty good and here we have it guys and this is it for this video and we will have a top loader or whatever you want to call it so you can do that too so how you will do that uh, i guess you can just create some element at the bottom so let's make a, a span or div of div dot progress and we will have to make it position absolute so this will make the uh, element float uh, dot progress position absolute top is zero and width should be uh, 100 vw view width all right and height should be four pixel uh, background color uh, background is hash uh, some like blue let me just copy that 
all right as here you can see in the top we have that and we can make a little progress bar kind of thing when it will be this will be animated like 4 3 2 1 and when user will cancel it i hope you got it you can also add hover effects to these and need few changes and the final project looks like this and i have also added few more cards and added like flex row kind of thing and also updated few styles you can go and check it on github i have link in the description and it's not much i haven't changed much it's almost same and in the second part i will make this with javascript here the loader will be interactive and also these seconds and you will be redirected to websites and somewhere and we have also forgot to put links in these so i will do that soon so and you can view this by going to go.creativeshe.com and that's it for this video so if you didn't like the video or you didn't like this any of the thing then please please hit that dislike button and you can write me in the comments i hate you i hate you i hate you then whatever whatever and i don't care i will just ignore you okay please like this video and share with your friends with your web dev friends and whoever is interested who might be interested and i hope you like this cool project so please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon if you want to support me you can support me on pat pat patreon.com slash creative j and don't forget to check in the uh, check the links in the description and you can follow me on instagram i do little little madness there uh, i hope to see you in the next video bye bye stay safe